this is the spiritual home of Joseph. Yeah. And what would each of you say is the reason why, since you, I mean, since 1991, 92, half a billion people have actually seen Joseph in some, some shape or form all over the world. What is it about this particular musical that it makes it one of the most performed, one of the most loved, would you say? It's happy. It's happy. It's a great happy piece. It makes people smile. It's, you know, it's, it's just uh, positive, about dreams. It's about people. Um, it's about life, you know. It's about, we all dream a lot. Some of us are lucky, some are not. But if you think it, want it, dream it, and it's real, you are what you feel. I think that just says yeah, it's it's lovely, like, it all. That gives me a shiver each time <laughs> I hear that lyric. I don't know why it's just that that little phrase. And I think it's good old-fashioned storytelling as well. I mean, it tells a story in such a, especially this production as well, it's such a childlike way of telling a story. And it just keeps audiences so gripped and they just watch in awe every night. It's funny because we can see we can see some audience members and they're just wrapped from start to finish because of the music and the lyrics. It's amazing. We, and, and the songs, I mean, we, I grew up singing the songs in school, you know, with the teacher would be playing the piano and I knew every word to every song. <laughs> and we'd sing it in the back of the car with our parents and really annoyed them. Um, but it's the songs, isn't it? Jody? That's it. I mean, there's so, so it's nostalgia with this show. I, it was the first show I saw. I went on a school trip um, to London to see it and it made me want to perform. So, and everyone who comes along, they're now bringing their kids to see it. And they're saying it's the first show they saw and now it's the first show they're showing the kids. And of course, Jason's Did you in come it. and see me? Philip Schofield. Oh, I'm so sorry. No. I'm so sorry. I, I love you for that anyway. That's it. The <laughs> love I wish, is deeper. The love I wish is deeper I'd seen than you. that. <laughs> I wish I'd seen you. Um, but yeah, so we're working with Jason and they go mad obviously because it's they came to see him originally and they're all his lovely fans here. But yeah, it's it's great fun. Yeah, can I can I say I think also it's it's so it's really it's a very simple piece, you know, and, and to write music that is simple is very difficult because the more you write songs, the more complicated they become. And I think this caught, you know, Tim and Andrew at a time when they were just, uh, the, the slate was completely clean, the, the, the paper was clean, and they, they were just going for it. And it was a, a, obviously originally a, a, a school piece as well, so it's very short, you know. Again, simple, short. Yeah. So what did they say to persuade you to come back, Jason? Um, they, they didn't really, there wasn't really a lot of persuasion. It, it sort of made sense, you know, um, you know, to play the Pharaoh, um, y you know, this was such a game changer for me, um, y you know, logistically, you know, I'm not a Joseph anymore. Um, and. I, I love this piece, you know, I just completely love this piece. So the, the Palladium, to work with these two dudes, um, it's been an absolute pleasure. This young dude over here um, was not even born when uh, you were Joseph. Mm. Um, do you like to be reminded of that, Joseph? <laughs> <laughs> do you know, I'm quite happy with my age, you know, I think I'm looking okay for 51. You look great. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's a fact, isn't it, really? You're sort of new to something which we've all grown up with. Yeah, I mean, Joseph, I kind of grew up with Joseph as well, because I remember watching the DVD of Donny Osmond when I was younger. I mean, obviously, I never saw, I never saw the that's big right, man do it. Right. But I saw it, I saw it on tour as well when I was really young, but I can't remember who played Joseph then. But I was always kind of aware of the songs and the music and the lyrics, because it's something that I feel is just kind of embedded in us at such a young age, especially being theatre fans growing up. Joseph is kind of like an iconic one. How's he doing? Oh, His first professional job. Wow. Yeah. You would not think it. <laughs> this guy, I mean, he show stops yeah. when he sings Close Every Door yeah. to Me. Like, literally, everyone is on their feet. Yeah. He's amazing and taking it all in his stride. I mean, I'm nervous every night and I've been doing it for years. <laughs> but yeah, he's, I, but he's just cool looking cool, cool, and so talented. And it's a pleasure to kind of be seeing him. You know, it's his first West End debut, sure, and he's going to yeah. go on a massive career. He's a superstar. He is, man. He's, he's, he's excellent. My, my son came and saw it the other day and came back and said, I said, what did you think? He said, it's fantastic. And he said, Sheridan's amazing. Jack is incredible. And the look on my face was a complete desperation <laughs> and sadness <laughs> that my legacy was slowly fading. But, uh, yeah. but, but listen, you know, wow. You're the original. Wow. And wow. You think, actually, you're the original you'll, you'll baby. be forever be associated yeah. with, mm -hmm. with Joseph because it was, it was that that really, I mean, the, the musical had been around for a while, but when you did it, it did reignite it in a very, very big way yeah. on the world stage. 
what, what, what was Jason Donovan like in 91 when you first took on that role? Do you remember the person you were at that stage? I mean, you Do you were know if I'm going to be stuff? absolutely honest? I was a bit exhausted, you know, and, and this was sort of, it, it came at a time, it was a very unexpected call, this, but it was a logical call because, you know, Andrew Lloyd Webber was, his currency was very high, uh, so was mine. I was looking for the next move from Stockacre Waterman and, and Neighbours. Um, my father is an actor, and I watched my father do musical theatre growing up. Um, and, you know, it was a logical step for us, and, and that collaboration just went nuts. We had a number one record, we had a number one album. Those days have sort of gone uh, a little bit, and that's why this is so poignant. It's a very nostalgic moment, and, mm -hmm. you know, popular culture has a cycle, and as I say to many people, you never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Uh, and uh, th this, this show is so ingrained in the, an emotional connection with an audience. Wow, you know, we see this every night. They're on their feet, loving it. And it has uh, an emotional connection with you as well, isn't it? It does. Do you know what? I can sing, and I still go and do festivals and stuff, and I sing Any Dream Will Do, and I'm up there with Peter Hook from New Order, you know, 80s festivals, and Human League, and Go West, and all these bands, and I'll get up there, and someone, Peter Hook will be doing Love Will Tear Us Apart, you know, very Manchester. <laughs> 20 minutes later, I'll get up and sing Any Dream Will Do. They go as nuts. <laughs> for that song <laughs> as they do for anything. It transcends cool. Yeah, that's the totally. point. And that's where it is at the moment. It's it's with a different audience with these dudes and and hopefully I'm just connecting the two. You know. mm -hmm. and Sheridan, I mean we, we we've seen you on television most recently, haven't we, in cleaning up and, and cellar and, and you know uh, so in the in the public's mind that's where we see you and here you are being the narrator. It's normally a role that's taken by a man as well, so it's quite significant, isn't it? So when you got the call to come on here, were you like, yeah, I'm gonna go back on stage and do that? Well, I was very honoured to get the call. I mean, it's been done by, it was a woman when you yeah, did it, Lindsay. wasn't it? Yeah, Lindsay, yeah, yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's been done by amazing singers, basically, and I'm <clears throat> not so, I've got more of a Barry White low voice, but, <laughs> oh, <laughs> but they've changed incredible. the keys. What are you saying, man? <laughs> but, um, come on. <laughs> but no, do you know what? I was so excited, because it was the first show I'd seen. I was really honoured that they asked me and getting to work with these guys of course and then uh, Lawrence Connor who's the director has this amazing new vision that he was like the narrator always just stands there with a book and the kids are just stood in the choir was it such a magical story it should be told through the eyes of the kids so he's got all the kids playing mm -hmm. all different characters and I'm like a naughty babysitter who like eggs them on and <laughs> and it's just a really good fun it's just so much fun and like I know we keep saying that but it is like two hours of escapism for the audience I think and right now we need that so and it's, it's short. It's short. Yeah. It's a short. Yeah. Piece. So everyone, <laughs> the first <laughs> act is 42 <laughs> minutes long. Oh my God, heaven! You know, well, you, you, him 42 minutes. Yeah, I <laughs> but, it, but that's the point. He, 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 he's they've packed in this show into a very tight. That's quite difficult to say what you want to say without too much fat. It's it's you know it, I think that's another reason why it's so so popular. Jack. What a way to start your professional career at the Palladium, doing Joseph with these two. I mean... Mate, it's all downhill yeah, from all now on. <laughs> I swear to you, it's all downhill from now on. In. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty magical. I mean, we don't often get to see the house like this with all the house lights up, and it is amazing. It does take your breath away when you look at it, but I'm just making the most of it because I don't know when something like this is ever going to happen again, so I'm just trying to soak it all up while I can. You must have been utterly thrilled when you, you heard the, the news that you've got this role because there have been so many people after it. Yeah, well, I mean, I had no idea. I think if I knew how many people were after it, I probably would have chickened out of going in for it. But no, I was ecstatic when I got the call because to perform as Joseph would have been a dream come true anyway, but let alone at the Palladium and with Jason and Sheridan and, and this brand new production is a dream come true completely. What advice would you give young Jack here about he's just setting off really on a, I mean, we know that it's an industry mm -hmm. that has its pitfalls, it's challenging, it is not easy being in the public eye, actually it can be very, very unpleasant, it can affect you, he potentially has all this lot to come. What advice would you give to someone in his position? I'm not good at it, you don't need any advice from me. <laughs> Jason oh, gives listen, good advice. I think, no, no, I just honestly. say work hard, you know, and have a sense of humour <laughs> and keep working harder. 
and keep working harder and you know uh, be prepared to fail you know, your failures are some of your best moments make mistakes you know that's, we're all scared of making mistakes that's what makes us sort of grow you know as, as Sharon had said you know I still get anxious going on stage every night and just, that's part of what we do you know um, and always have a plan B. <laughs> I think that's always that's always a good thing. And and yeah. yeah, we did. yeah. I mean, I've learned so much already just by watching these guys. I mean, on stage and off, they're just perfect examples of how to be as a performer. It's brilliant. So that's all the advice I need. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a, it's a, the, the public scrutiny <laughs> and, and every you know social media and the papers and you know everybody looking at you and analysing you, Sheridan. Yeah, I mean, that, I, I mean, I find that I still find that kind of tough, and I kind of I just tend to avoid it more now. I don't tend to read much because you can't you just got to kind of look, you know everyone's got an opinion and not let it get to you. But I've obviously had my <laughs> my rough patch, which this is like a tonic for me. You know, personally for me, this is like. It's like it's prescribed on the NHS, this show. <laughs> it's like, it's so feel good. And instead of playing all these torture characters, I'm finally getting to have fun, yeah, you know, and just have a really good time. Absolutely. So, so yeah, I think it's about choosing parts and, and, and being able to switch off and not take it home. And um, I mean, you know, he's, he's got such a level head. I didn't have a level head, so <laughs> I am now, I hope. <laughs> um, you, you've, you've touched on how different the production is. I mean, someone said, oh, Sheridan comes on with a coffee. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, you know, that's obviously not very Egyptian, but, but it's, it's really revised, isn't it? This, oh, we've got iPhones with all kinds in the show, isn't there? It's really yeah, modern. Yeah. It's got yeah. real modern twists, but it still stays true to the original yeah. with the music. But it's, um, what do you think? Yeah, I just think it's, uh, it's, it's probably a lot more energetic. As, yeah. as Sheridan said, it's seen through the eyes of the kids, so they're very much involved in the piece, which I think is a yeah. piece of genius, Magical. actually, because that's what it was originally written for. Um, it's probably, I'd say, it's a bit more punchier than the piece that we did. Ours was quite sort of traditional. This is traditional, but with a bit of a sort of a spin. And um, you know, the mega mix has got a different sort of backbeat <laughs> behind it. It sort of more, you know, sounds amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Sharon, I, I mean, you like me, a big fan of... Oh, them. super fan, so, yeah, um, super fan. <laughs> you are sitting alongside probably the most famous Joseph. Um, I'm just going to test you on your knowledge. So if oh, I were to okay. say to you, um, <laughs> especially for you, I want to let you know what I was going through. Does that mean anything to you? Does it too, mean, many, uh, <laughs> too many broken hearts in yes, the world. Yes, yes, yes. What does that I mean to you? One. I know, yeah. well, I've heard these are lyrics to Jason's songs. Yeah. yeah. Can you Unfortunately, sing the one, I didn't write the, the after one song? Uh, no, I yeah. can't <laughs> sing the ones after. <laughs> I know them all. But I do know, I know. Yes. You need a bit of an education there, I, I think. Do, I do. <laughs> That's I mean, I've had a cool. Joseph education. Yeah. Joseph education. Joseph lesson. Yeah, Joseph Donovan lesson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll wow. teach him. Wow. That's nice. It's nice to be loved. <laughs>